Hi, welcome back to the last DVD, Taekwondo Advanced. In this DVD, I am teaching many sparring techniques as well as black belt forms. You will learn the variations of basic punches and kicks. So make sure you have practiced all of the techniques in the last two DVDs. Please do not rush to this DVD. In martial arts, repetition of basics is the most important thing. So keep checking points of basics and practice them every day. Regardless you are beginner or intermediate or advanced, warm up is necessary before you begin to practice. Do not omit the warm up, otherwise the risk of getting injury is going to increase. So please do stretch and warm up before you begin to practice all the time. Hold stance, low block. Double arm block. High block. Outside to in block. Inside to out block. Knife hand block. And have a uchihachiji stance. Middle target punch. Upper target punch. Palm uppercut. Knife and attack. Back fist front. Back fist side. Have a whole stance and elbow. Moving low block. Turn. Turn. Moving high block. Moving outside to in block. Moving inside to out block. Moving double arm block. Moving knife hand block. Moving middle target punch. Moving upper target punch. Moving reverse punch. Moving knife and attack.
moving middle target punch and reverse upper target punch. Front kick. Roundhouse kick. Side kick. Front kick and middle target punch. Knife and attack and front kick. Front kick and side kick. Outside to in crescent kick. Inside to out crescent kick. Axe kick. Back kick. Outside to in crescent kick and side kick. From the natural stance, inside to out block to the left, and do a horizontal middle target punch, 
long exhale, the right foot slowly slides to the left foot and do the same sequence to the right. One more time. Inside to out block to the left, keep the back stance and do a horizontal middle target punch, long exhale, right foot slowly slides to the left foot. And do the same sequence to the right. From the end of the first sequence, steps forward and do the right double arm block. The left foot steps forward and low cross block. Stance remains the same, open your hand and do the cross high knife hand block. One more time. Double arm block, steps forward and low cross block. Stance remains the same. Double knife high block. Twist your wrist and swing down to block the middle target punch. S twist and swings down. And pull and steps forward at the same time and do the middle target punch. Double arm block, low cross block, knife high block, twist down and pull, steps forward at the same time and do the middle target punch. Double arm block, block and block, down and pull and a middle target punch. One more time. From the end of the second sequence, pivot 180 degrees counterclockwise Lift bent right knee as high as possible and put right fist next to left ear and then right low block. One more time. Lift bent right knee as high as possible and put right fist next to the ear and low block. Lift and pull and low block. Stance remains the same. Do the left back hand strike to 180 degrees counterclockwise and then right crescent kick to the left palm the right foot lands front and right elbow strike into the left palm one more time counterclockwise left hand strike and crescent kick horse stance and elbow to the left palm one more time backhand strike crescent kick horse stance elbow to the palm Okay, let's do the whole sequence together. From the elbow strike, the left foot slides behind the right foot and right double arm block. One more time. The left foot slides behind the right foot and right double arm block. And then left foot slides front into the left back stance and right uppercut with the support of the left hand. One more time. Left foot slides behind the right foot, double arm block. 
the left foot slides and right uppercut. Slice, double arm block, slide and uppercut. Don't forget to the support of the left hand when you do the uppercut. After the uppercut, put the weight on the left foot and jump forward. Cross the legs, land, and cross the low block. One more time. Put the weight on the left foot and jump forward. You land with crossed legs and cross the low block. From there, right foot steps 90 degrees to the right and double arm block. One more time. Put the weight on the left foot, jump and cross low block, steps to the right, and double arm block. Jump, double arm block. After the double arm block, turn 180 degrees to the left back stance. Simultaneously, the right spear hand to growing and pull to the right mountain block with the left low block. One more time. Turn 180 degrees to the left back stance. Spear hand and pull to the right mountain block with the left low block. From there, the left foot retracts toward the right foot, and right foot moves 45 degrees front right to left spear hand to growing and pull it to left mountain high block and right low block. One more time. Spear, pull, left foot retracts, move 45 degrees front right, spear, pull, mountain high block and low block. Spear, pull, and spear and pull. Kumung 5 is the last form of the series of the Kumung form. This is the first form that you have to do when you take the black belt test. Keep your legs and toes closed. Both hands are placed to the left waist. Left hand is a knife hand and right hand is a fist. Right foot steps forward. Swing both knife hands back and do left knife hand block.
right foot steps forward and swing both knife hands backward and left knife hand block. And turn 180 degrees clockwise and left foot crosses over the right foot. Right foot steps forward and right knife hand block. Steps forward, knife hand block. Turn 180 degrees clockwise. Left foot crosses over the right foot and right knife hand block. Turn 90 degrees to the left and right foot crosses over left foot. And left foot steps forward and left knife hand block. And then left foot crosses over the right foot. Right foot steps forward and right knife hand block. Steps forward and left knife hand block. 180 degrees turn, right knife hand block, turn 90 degrees to the left, left knife hand block, turn 180 degrees, and right knife hand block. From the last knife hand block, turn 180 degrees counterclockwise and right back leg side kick. Right foot lands front into the right knife hand with left fist at solar praxis. Turn 180 degrees counterclockwise, right foot crosses over the left foot, left side kick and left knife hand block. One more time. Turn and side kick and lands and knife hand block. Fist at the solar plexus. Steps, kick, knife hand block. Turn, kick, knife hand block. Cross, and side kick, and knife hand block. Turn 90 degrees clockwise and left foot crosses over the right foot, side kick, and knife hand block. Turn 180 degrees counterclockwise, right foot crosses over left foot, and do the left side kick. Left foot lands front and turn 180 degrees clockwise into the light knife hand block. Turn, knife hand block, steps, kick, block, steps, kick, block, and steps, Kick lands front and turn and knife hand block. Last one steps, kick lands front and turn and knife hand block. From the last knife hand block, left foot steps forward and left outside to in block and right reverse punch 
and left upper target punch. One more time. From there, right foot steps forward and right outside to in block, left reverse punch, right upper target punch. Left foot steps forward, left outside to in block, and right reverse punch and left upper target punch. From the end of the third sequence, turn 90 degrees left into left back stance and do the left knife hand block with right fist at solar plexus. Then change into the left front stance, do the right reverse middle target punch and left middle target punch. Turn and left knife hand block change into the left front stance, do the right reverse middle target punch and left middle target punch. Then do right back leg side kick, lounge and right back stance and swing right hammer strike down. One more time. Punch, punch, kick, lounge into the back stance and swing right hammer strike down. Turn, knife and block, punch, punch, kick, and hammer strike. And then turn 180 degrees clockwise and do the right knife and block and change into the right front stance and punch, punch, kick, and hammer strike. One more time. Turn 180 degrees clockwise, block, punch, punch, kick, hammer strike. Okay, let's do it fast. One more time. From the last hammer strike, turn 90 degrees left into the left front stance and do the low cross block and then do high knife hand cross block. Low cross block and high knife hand cross block. Twist your wrist and pull both hands to the right waist. Twist, pull, and at the same time do front high kick. Lance front. Twist, pull, kick, lance front and middle target punch, and reverse middle target punch. And kick, runs front, and horizontal knife and attack. Cross, high block, twist, pull and kick, middle target punch, reverse punch, 
and side kick and then horizontal knife and attack then twist to the left into left elongated front stance and do a palm strike and do a right back leg side kick and lands 180 degrees and left knife and block one more time block block twist pull and kick land punch punch kick horizontal knife and attack twist and uh, elongated front stance palm strike side kick and turn and knife and block okay let's do it fast One more time. From the end of the fifth sequence, turn 90 degrees left into horse stance and left backhand strike. And do the right crescent kick toward the left hand, lands into horse stance and right elbow tuck to the left palm. One more time. Turn, backhand strike, crescent kick, elbow, and then turn 90 degrees right into right back stance and right inside to out block left front kick and right side kick right foot lands and do the right knife hand block one more time turn to the right kick kick and knife hand block and turn 180 degrees clockwise into horse stance and back and strike crescent kick elbow and inside to out front kick side kick and knife and block one more time turn inside to out front kick side kick knife and block turn 180 degrees clockwise and do the same sequence inside to out front kick side kick and knife hand block let's do it fast
left knife hand over right knife hand. And they are placed in front of growing. Left knife hand over right knife hand is placed in front of growing. Lift right foot, stump, lift left knee, left foot cross, and look at the right. Right foot steps in the whole stance. Do the right backhand strike. Twist upper torso and left elbow strike into the right palm. Pull both fists to the right waist. One more time. Lift, stumps, lift, cross, steps and backhand strike. Twist upper torso and elbow. Pull both fists. Look to the left and do the left block and right horizontal middle target punch. One more time. Lift, lift, cross, steps, back and strike, elbow, pull, low block, horizontal middle target punch. Let's do it fast. One more time. Right foot crosses and left foot steps into left horse stance. Simultaneously, do right inside to out block. Cross, step, and inside to out block. Keep the horse stance and left inside to out mountain high block and right low block. One more time. Mountain high block and low block, and do the left back fist and right middle horizontal punch. One more time. Steps inside to out, mountain high block with low block, and back fist and horizontal middle punch. Back twist and horizontal middle punch. Let's do it fast. From the back fist, stance remains the same. Look 45 degrees left. Left foot kicks toward the right knee and return. And simultaneously, twist the left forearm 180 degrees for block. Twist for block. Look 45 degrees right. Right foot kicks toward the left knee. Return. Twist torso 90 degrees right. And twist the left forearm 180 degrees. Twist, look light, kick, return, twist, and pull both fists to the right waist. Look left and left upper target hammer fist and right horizontal punch. Twist, look and kick and twist, pull, left upper target hammer fist, right horizontal punch. Let's do it fast.
fourth sequence is the opposite side of the first sequence. Please do everything opposite of the first sequence. Fifth sequence. Fifth sequence is the opposite side of the second sequence. Please do everything opposite of the second sequence. Sixth sequence. Sixth sequence is the opposite side of the third sequence. Please do everything opposite of the third sequence. Parsec. Parsec means to capture a city. The first movement of Parsec looks like breaking a fort. So first, first movement looks like this. First sequence. From the natural stance, close your legs and feet, lift knife and wraps right fist, and bring them in front of the solar plexus. Shift weights on the right foot. Simultaneously, pull both hands to a little below the left waist. Left foot steps forward, then the right foot steps forward, and the left foot slides behind the right foot. Do the back fist by the right fist with the left hand support. Shift weight on the light foot, pull, steps forward, and steps forward, and slides. And while you're sliding, do the back fist. And pivot 180 degrees counterclockwise, have a front stance. Simultaneously, do left inside to out block, and do the right inside to out block. One more time. Shift, pull, steps, steps, slide and back fist. Pivot 180 degrees into the front stance and left inside to out and left inside to out block. One more time. Pull steps, steps, slide and back fist. 
pivot 180 degrees inside to out, inside to out. And turn 90 degrees clockwise and do the light low block and light outside to in block and do the left uppercut. Okay, from block, turn 90 degrees clockwise, light low block, outside to in, and uppercut. Turn 90 degrees counterclockwise into horse stance, and pull both hands to above the right waist. One more time. Block and uppercut. Turn 90 degrees counterclockwise into horse stance, pull both hands to above the right waist. Step, step, slide and back twist. Turn 180 degrees, block, block, and turn 90 degrees clockwise and do the light low block, outside to in and uppercut. Turn 90 degrees counterclockwise and pull both hands. Step, step, back twist. Block, block, low block, outside to in, uppercut. 90 degrees turn and pull both hands. Second sequence, keep the stance and do the left horizontal knife and attack and do the middle target punch. And have an elongated stance and do the right inside to out block and left middle target punch. Have an elongated stance to the right and do the left inside to out block and do the right middle target punch. Horizontal punch, elongated and inside to out, middle target punch, Elongated front stance, inside to out, middle target punch. Third sequence. So throw the middle target punch, right foot steps forward and do the knife hand block. And repeat it twice. One and two. And then right foot steps backward and do the left knife hand block. Again, punch, steps forward, knife hand, knife hand, and knife hand. Step backward and knife hand block again. Twist your torso and put more weight on your left foot. Grabs your opponent to the right side kick. Lands, turn your body 180 degrees, and knife hand block. Knife hand, knife hand, knife hand. Step backward, knife hand. Twist, grab, side kick. Land, turn, and knife hand block. Right foot steps forward and do the knife hand block. Right foot steps back and close both legs and feet and pull both fists next above the waist and double high block. Right foot steps forward and do the double hammer with front stance to your opponent's sides then do the right middle target punch. One more time. Last knife hand block. Steps forward, knife hand block and Pull it back, 
high block and double hammer fist to the side and steps forward again and middle target punch. Turn 180 degrees counter clockwise, right spear hand, left forearm block, pull and left low block and right half mountain block, left foot retracts towards right foot. One more time. Knife hand block, pull and high block, hammer fist, middle target punch, turn, spear, pull and left low block and right half mountain block, left foot retracts. Okay, knife hand block, knife hand block, pull and high block, hammer fist to the side, front stance, and middle target punch, back stance and spear and pull block and left foot retract let's do it fast Sixth sequence. Pivot 180 degrees counterclockwise and raise your bent knee as high as possible. Bring your fist to the ear. Lift and bring your fist next to the ear and light foot stumps and low block. Pivot. Lift, stump, low block, and then stance remains the same. Look left and do the backhand strike. Right crescent kick to the left palm, right foot runs, hold stance, and elbow to the left palm. Pivot, stumps, low block, left hand strike, crescent kick, and elbow to the palm. Seventh sequence. Elbow stance remains the same. Do the light low block, then do the left low block, and light low block again. Light low block, left low block, light low block. From the last low block, stance remains the same. Pull your both fists to the left waist. Right foot kicks toward the left knee. Right foot steps 90 degrees to the right into the front stance. Do the right inside to out block and the left upper target punch. One more time. Pull. Kick. Steps front stance. Inside to out block and upper target punch simultaneously. Right foot retracts to the left foot and pull both fists to the right waist. Kick and front stance. Inside to out and upper target punch. Left foot retracts to the right foot. Pull both fists to the waist. Kick. Front stance. Inside to out and upper target punch. Pull and kick. 
front stance inside to out upper target, right foot retracts, pull both fists, kick, front stance inside to out upper target punch, retracts, pull, kick, front stance inside to out upper target punch simultaneously. Pull and kick at the same time and inside to out block and upper target punch should be the same time. Pivot 270 degrees counterclockwise into the left elongated front stance and do the right inside to out block. Pivot 270 degrees counterclockwise into the elongated front stance and do the right inside to out block. And pivot 180 degrees to the right into the light elongated front stance and do the left inside to out block. Pivot, inside to out, and pivot, inside to out. Left foot steps 135 degrees right cross, and right foot steps forward and do the right knife hand block. And right foot steps 90 degrees left, and left foot steps forward and do the left knife hand block. Pivot 270 degrees, inside to out, pivot 180 degrees, inside to out, Steps and steps and knife hand block. Steps, steps and knife hand block. Points of sparring. In sparring, to keep the same height, and relax your shoulders, and relax your knees, are very important. Mr. Kim, please come. <coughs> Keeping the same height, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your knees, the hardest things to learn because fear and shock stiffen your body. Practice basics and gliding steps helps you a lot to prepare for free sparring. The most important point in sparring is spirit and courage to move forward. If you are just waiting for attacks, you will be behind.
even though you attempt to block and do counterattack, you have to show to your opponent that you move forward and attack him or her. To acquire the courage to move forward requires trust on yourself and your techniques. Practice gives you confidence and trust in yourself. Once you acquire punch and kick techniques, you have to think about distance and timing. If you are too close, your punch and kick cannot generate maximum power and are vulnerable to attacks. You have to always keep the distance that you can attack anytime with one step and are not attacked. That's why gliding step is so important. You can move fast and launch attack immediately. Weight shift is another important point in sparring. You should always keep balance by putting weight half and a half to both feet and learn how to put weight on either front or back feet, depending on types of offense or defense. You can omit extra movements by keeping your height. Also, keep your center of gravity. Do not move up and down when you are moving. So keep the height low when you do punch or kick. If you keep in mind that you protect your center, you realize that you do not need to move so much. So he attempts to attack my solar plexus, but if you dodge and do a little block, he throws his punch off center. Like this, you do not have to move thick. Of course, if your opponent is bigger than you, you have to move a little bit more. In order to win, you have to either attack your opponent first, or you dodge or block his attack and do counterattack. So, reflections and nimbleness are important points to train. Skipping is a good exercise, so if you have it, do it for one minute. Once you finish skipping, do immediately gliding step forward and backward, relax shoulders and knees, and moving forward and backward, and do some punches and kicks.
Also, the warm-up that I showed in Taekwondo Intermediate, also a good practice. So let's do it. Have a fighting stance and change your feet. Do as fast as you can for 15 seconds. Do not forget to relax your shoulders. But the most important things to practice are gliding steps and four directions. So let's practice gliding steps again. Have a fighting stance and Press your big toe of the back leg and then front foot moves forward and back foot drags. Relax your shoulders, keep your back straight. And keep your height low. Practice method to put the weight on your punch. Face each other and stand with a whole stance. Turn waist and shoulder and push a little below your partner's shoulder. Then your partner begins to do the same thing. Put the weight when you press. Remember to twist your waist and shoulder. Practice method to dodge. Have a fighting stance. Your partner begins to walk towards you. Simultaneously, you move toward him by gliding steps and move either right or left to dodge him. Always hands up, keep your height while moving, and relax your shoulder. When you have a fighting stance, you should not expose your center. You have to tilt your body a little bit. For doing it, your center is narrowed and less exposed. Please don't forget to keep your hands up and close your armpit. If you open your armpit, your opponent can easily attack the side. And also, don't forget to relax your shoulder. There are four ways to attack. The first, you just move and attack. Or, dodge and attack simultaneously. And block his a punch or kick and do counter attack. Or stop him before he fully extend his punch or kick and do counter attack. In a cross position, vertical punch is easier than the usual punch because usual punch requires distance and extend your arm and twist. So it's easy to put the weight on a vertical punch 
in a cross position. Also, do not open your armpit. Always close your armpit. In order to continue techniques, you should always keep your fighting stance after first technique. For example, after you do one to punch, drag your back leg and have a fighting stance immediately for next technique. Close your knees a little inside when you move and re-establish your fighting stance. To close your knees a little inside helps you to move on to next attacks. When you face to the opponent, always try to move a little outside from your opponent. It means that you always try to keep a line and move toward the outside of your opponent. Have a fighting stance. Move to the left, first punch. Open your leg and do the second punch. Move to the left, first punch. Open your leg and second punch. Don't forget to turn your waist and shoulder when you do the second punch. Your first move and first punch should be the same time. And after you open your leg 45 degrees, when you drag your back leg and second punch should be the same time. Have a fighting stance. Move to the left and first punch and second punch. So move to the left, first punch, and open your leg to the left and second punch. Don't forget to turn your waist and shoulder when you do the second punch. From fighting stance, put the weight on the big toe of the front foot, turn neck, waist and shoulder, twist upper torso 180 degrees, and do the back fist to the face. Balance and strong lower body are necessary for this attack. Do an upper target jab as you put hold weight on the front toe. When you pull your punch, turn your neck, waist and shoulder 180 degrees and do the back fist. Do not forget to snap the wrist. So jab and when you pull your punch, turn your neck, waist and shoulder and do the back fist. Elbow is very effective in a closed positions. So after you dodge or block your punch, you can do side elbow to the face or vertical elbow to the chin.
kick techniques require big movement. So your opponent can easily read your kick. So the point is to trick your opponent. So if you kick this way, kick goes that way. But if your kick comes from this way, your opponent does not expect it. So you can trick your opponent. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do it. For example, if I kick this way, he tries to block it. If I change this into crescent kick, so kick from this way to change that way. Practice methods of kick techniques. You have to react to your opponent as soon as he moves so that you can launch a kick immediately. I'm going to demonstrate how to practice it. Have a fighting stance. Your partner holds a pad. As soon as he moves, you lift your knee toward your pad. And then, knee up, front kick. And then, knee up, middle roundhouse kick. And then, Knee up, high roundhouse kick. Practice method for directions to move for kick techniques. To left, <laughs> to right. Forward, left. Forward, right. When you move forward, either right or left, Always do a slight block. It protects your center. Slight block and attack. When you move backward to dodge or defend, make a habit of doing a counterattack. Relaxation and concentration is your key. Let's practice. Have a fighting stance. Your partner will attack. You move either right or left and do either front kick, roundhouse kick, side kick, or foot kick.
In order to trick your opponent, you should get him to attempt blocking your front kick. Remember the knee up exercise? Lift your front knee, aiming toward your opponent's front fist. At the moment of your front kick, you turn your toe and body and do the high roundhouse kick. So front kick and change into high roundhouse kick. High front kick to hook kick. This technique is kind of a short hook. Like before, lift your knee aiming toward the front fist and do a high front kick. Aim the front kick toward a little left from his face and turn your toe and body and do a hook kick. High kick and foot kick. High kick and foot kick. High kick, little turn and foot kick. The point of this technique is not to change the height of knee much from the roundhouse kick to crescent kick. Lift the back knee for roundhouse kick and twist your torso the other way to do the crescent kick. So twist and twist, twist and twist. Practice this twist, twist twice. Use instep of the foot to hit. To practice this technique, lift your knee, keep the position and swing your knee. Relax your upper body. To do this technique, remember the spinning back fist. From a fighting stance, and you are bothering your opponent by hands. Then put your weight on your front toe and turn your neck, upper torso, big toe. And show your hip, this is very important. Show your hip and back of the foot to your opponent and do back kick. Turn, show your hip and do the back kick. And remember you're bothering your opponent by hands and turn. Bothering, bothering, try and show your hip and back kick. from a fighting position. Front foot steps in, not straight, but a little inside from the center. Turn the neck and upper torso. Simultaneously lift your knee to the side and do the foot kick. So foot steps in, little inside, turn the neck and upper torso, lift your knees to the side and do the foot oh, kick. Yeah. Step into the little inside and lift the knee is the important point. From a fighting position, twist your toe and torso and do a low kick. Lift the knee and change into a high kick. The point is relaxation snapping. It's not just one and two kick, no. It's like one and snap. One and snap. Relax the shoulder and squeeze your stomach muscles to keep your balance. Wine snap. So. Now is a combination of punch and kick. The point of this combination is step forward a little side in order to make a high kick faster and trick your opponent. 
So when you do the upper target punch, you are already in the process of roundhouse kick. So when you do the punch, you are already in the process of roundhouse kick. While your opponent focuses on defending himself from your punch, your kick sneaks in on his blind spot. This is a case that you do one upper target punch and a middle target punch, and you and your opponent are very close. When you move back, do inside to out crescent kick. Because the distance is too close, your opponent cannot see your crescent kick. The points are twist movements, twist left and right subsequently, and putting whole weight on your supporting leg. So one, two, and crescent kick. One, two, and twist, crescent kick. You have completed the series of Taekwondo lessons. I would like to thank you for watching these three DVDs. I hope that these DVDs will act as a reference that you can use when you get lost or do not feel motivated. Please remember that if you want to be strong in sparring, you have to practice basics and spar with many different types of people. Being a practitioner of martial arts is to keep developing your mind and body with continuous study and practice. So keep up the good work.